uh, NETAP visited our campus. Uh, the eligibility criteria for NETAP was 7.5. Uh, the branches that were eligible were computers, electronics and IT. Uh, the, as per the procedure of NETAP, there were five rounds. The first round was uh, uh, technical written. Uh, it had four sections. The first section was aptitude. It had ten questions. The next was related to programming languages. Basically, C and C++ were asked mostly. The third round was related to data structures and operating system. And the fourth was related to system programming, which had computer architecture and microprocessor. Uh, there, in NetApp, there is a sectional cutoff in written. So you need to qualify every section. It's not like you score uh, high in one section and low in the other. There is a sectional cutoff in every section. Uh, 16 students were shortlisted uh, for the interviews. Uh, so then I proceeded for my first interview. The first interview was basically related to the project I have done during my summer internship. So uh, they asked me every minute detail of what I have performed, exactly how was the procedure and basically they wanted to know how deeply I have worked in the project. Uh, there were also some questions on the uh, subject of my interest like I told them data structures and operating system so they asked me about uh, memory management from start to the most recent one. Then they asked me about what data structures I have implemented till date and how do you decide where to use, use which data structure. They, were, they also asked about some test cases like they asked about 25 test cases of a pen or a coffee mug. So. Uh, next there was uh, my second round. In the second round was purely technical and they focused a lot on the basic concepts of C and C++. I would say emphasize on C++ because they do are C++ concepts. So uh, they asked me very minute basics like uh, the declaration of type def and struct declarations. Uh, then they also asked me about uh, the basics of compiling a C code. What all phases are there? What is the execution phase? What is what exactly happens in the linking and loading phase? Uh, then there were questions based on C++. They asked about classes and uh, abstraction and all those things. Uh, they also asked me to write a code on inserting a uh, node at the end of a linked list. So basically they were checking your basic concepts. It's not high level but yes you need to know the basics. Uh, some more questions that were asked were related to what is physical address, what is virtual address, the difference between the two. And they also asked how would you how would you make a variable global in a C program like for multiple files. So it was basically the use of external variable that we need to know. Uh, next they also asked about uh, if you make changes uh, in a in library but not its corresponding header file. So in which stage of compiling would it report an error in loading phase and linking phase or in the execution phase. So uh, these were some of the technical questions asked in round 2. Uh, round 3 was HR. Uh, in HR uh, they were asking simple questions like uh, what's my family background and uh, my strengths, my weaknesses and the profile of NetApp, how much I know about it. Basically they were checking if I'm actually interested in the company and I would join it. So they asked me if I have contacted other people or my seniors in NetApp regarding if the company is visiting the campus. Next they discussed the profiles with me, which profile I would be suitable for. And they asked me about why should I know have this profile and all those things. So have details about that, what you are appearing for. Also, there was one more thing they were checking and that was if I, was go, go, I would go for the higher studies. So that is where I was stuck. They said to me that I, 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 I doubt you would go for higher studies and you won't join the company. So make yourself clear, make your, show yourself passionate for the same and then HR would be clear. Uh, the last round, round 4 was with the senior manager of NetApp. He was basically testing my test skills, how much I know about testing. And other than that he was also checking if I am a team person, whether we can uh, merge well with the team. Uh, he asked me about uh, software testing, agile testing, white box testing, what is SDLC and all that. He also asked me about networking, uh, like uh, how does the DNS work, how are the packets tra uh, traversed from one computer to an another computer through all the phases. Then he asked me about DHCP, TCP, UDP, SYNAP mechanism and all that. He also asked me about some basic SQL queries and then there were about uh, OOP concepts and C++. So they were all apologizing me about what all knowledge I have. So and they also asked me uh, what all queries I have about NetApp. So I would say listen to the PPT nicely and know about the profile of the company. Uh, as far as the tips are concerned for NetApp, I would say first of all for the written, uh, NetApp usually comes in the starting so there is a lot of competition. So I would say NetApp has sectional cutoff, 
So do concentrate on every section, do at least a minimum in every section, otherwise you might score high in one section and then you won't get qualified. So strategize first, uh, that which section is strong, first go for that and attempt that very nicely because it makes a front edge for you. And then for uh, the last section, system programming section, for me that was a bit tougher because it had some computer architecture or basic or detailed questions. So keep that uh, as ever you like, but yes, whatever is your strong section, first go for that. Next I would say do concentrate on C++ because that is not taught in computers and then they do stress on it. Third would be um, a concern because NetApp is a data storage and management company so concentrate on OS and data structures. Do know in detail about memory management, file management, file system and all that. And yes, uh, during HR, uh, do not speak anything that makes clear that you would go for a research thing. So because even if you're all the interviews are very great for technical, if you don't clear the HR you won't be there in NetApp. So um, just uh, just go for it and be natural in your HR, don't try to fake over and yes, uh, whenever you say something, they always uh, turn around the question and ask you something else and just if you stick to your answer or you change your answer. So uh, don't monopolize or don't be smart enough, just be natural in your HR.